input output model was developed by W. Leontief for the first time. The input output model is based on the proposition of Walrasian general equilibrium analysis, where all producing sectors in an economy are assumed to be interrelated or interdependent. Producing sectors are interrelated or interdependent in the sense that output of a sector is used as input in other sectors. However, a portion of the output of each sector is also used for final consumption like household consumption, government consumption, investment demand, inventory demand and export demand. Therefore, output of each sector has two types of uses, intermediate use and final consumption. Therefore, output is equal to input demand plus final demand or output has two types of demand input demand and final demand. For example, in two sector economy, say x1 is the output of sector 1 and x2 is the output of sector 2, then x1 is equal to small x11 that is output of sector 1 has used as input in sector 1 plus x12 that is output of sector 1 has used as input in sector 2 plus F1 that is final demand of the output of sector 1. Now X11 plus X12 is the input demand and F1 is the final demand for the sector 1. Similarly, Output of the sector 2 that is x2 is equal to small x21 plus small x22 plus f2. Small x21 is the output of sector 2 has used as input in sector 1. Small x22 is the output of sector 2 has used as input in sector 2. And f2 is the output of sector 2 has used as final demand. In these two output flow equations, this person is input demand and this person is final demand. Let us define small x i j divided by capital X j equal to small a i j, which implies small x i j is equal to small a i j into capital X j. Here a i j indicates the amount of output of i sector is used as input in the z sector to produce one or single unit of output of z sector. A i j is called input coefficient. Using the input coefficient A i j, we can write these two equations as x1 equal to A11 x1 plus A12 x2 plus F1. x2 is equal to A21 x1 plus A22 x2 plus F2. In matrix notation, we write this way. So, this is a matrix of output of x1 and x2 equal to matrix of input coefficient a11, a12, a21, a22 multiplied by output vector of x1 and x2 plus final demand vector of f1 and f2. Here, 
matrix of x1 and x2 is the output vector and matrix of a11, a12, a21 and a22 is called the input coefficient matrix and vector of f1 and f2 is called the final demand vector. We can write this portion in the left hand side and after simulation we get i that is identity matrix minus input, input coefficient matrix multiplied by output vector is equal to final demand vector. Let us write identity matrix as i minus input coefficient matrix as a output vector as x equal to final demand vector as f then we get i minus a into x equal to f or x equal to i minus a inverse into f. This is the Leontief input output model. Now, in case of an economy having n producing sectors, we get n number of simultaneous equation of the flow of output among the producing sectors. The the equations are like this. Here, using the input coefficient a i j, we can convert the output flow equation equations into these types of equation where we use the input coefficient a i j. In matrix notation, we get the output vector is equal to input coefficient matrix multiplied by output vector plus final demand vector. If output vector is x, input coefficient matrix is A and final demand vector is F, then we get output vector x equal to input coefficient matrix A multiplied by output vector x plus final demand vector f by taking this person into left hand side we get x minus a into x equal to f that is identity matrix minus a multiplied by x equal to f or x equal to i minus a inverse into f. Now i minus a into x equal to f or x equal to i minus a inverse into f is called static Leontief input output model. Static in the sense that all the components of final demand vector f are assumed to be autonomous. This is about the theoretical expression of Leontief input output model. Example, if input coefficient matrix A is this and final demand vector F is this, then I minus A that is identity matrix minus input coefficient matrix is equal to matrix of 0 0.7 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.4, 0, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2. 0 0.8. The Leon, we know the Leontief input output model is i minus a into x equal to f. So i minus a is this into x that is output vector of x1 and x2 and x3 equal to final demand vector that is vector of 300, 500 and 400. Now, using Kramer's rule, we get the value of x1 is this, that is 442 divided by 0 0.4, that is equal to 1105. x2 is equal to this, and that is equal to 290 divided by 
zero point four is equal to seven twenty five x three is equal to this and that is equal to three twenty eight divided by point four is equal to eight twenty so consistent level of output of sector one is one one zero three sector two is seven two five and consistent output for sector three is eight twenty well this is about the static leontip input output model thank you